Hey everyone, welcome back and happy Thursday. Okay guys, so before we get into all of this, we have the Valley and more drama because it just never stops. So we're gonna break it all down for you. I wanted to tell you that there will be no hot messy topics tomorrow, Friday. Jason and I are going to be going to Charleston. I said it in a few of my other videos and also um, on Up and Adam channel too. Also, by the way, I saw yesterday where I was talking about my God. I was talking about how we got a new puppy and she accidentally went number two in the upstairs and somebody, a few people were like, oh, well, if you can't handle it, I'm like one of the best dog dots, which I don't have to prove to anyone. But like, guys, it's okay. I'm a human and I'm allowed to say, oh my God, I didn't expect that. And that threw my day off. That's anybody. And that's fine. But before we jump in, smash that like button, show some love. If you're not subscribed, get subscribed, and let's jump right in. All right, guys. So we are starting off with Luke Broderick. Um, you guys. Well, you know, because he is associated with Kristen Doty. He's revealing why he won't move for her. So Luke and Kristen live together in and on the Valley, but only part-time. Now, the reality stars, thank you to realitytea.com, opened up about their life as a couple in the series' fourth episode. During a conversation, Luke told the former Vanderpump Rules star that he wanted no part in moving to L.A. permanently. California is important to me. Like, I can't leave California, like, tomorrow or next year or the year after. But I think giving it a couple a couple of years. And later, she noted that after three moves in a year and a half, she couldn't do it again. And she said she needs a minute. Now, what's funny about that is I was talking to Ryan Bailey and also Jason about this. I personally, we have moved three times in the last year, year and a half. It's a lot. Yes. Do I think that's why she's not trying to move up and move her life to Colorado? No. I think that she knows that she makes six figures plus promotions, plus sponsorships, plus social media, plus appearance fees. She makes a shit ton of money by doing the Valley. And this is just the first season. And I'm also partially thinking that they probably are treating Jax and Kristen to a higher cut, a higher salary, because they've been on the Vanderpump Rules franchise for so long. So, yes. Money talks. I wouldn't move if I was getting paid to stir shit up with my friends and become a celebrity out of it. Doesn't make sense. You're not going to get that same pay in um, Colorado. But for Luke, though he revealed in his confessional that everything he's built up in his life is accumulating in Colorado. He doesn't love the city's high cost of living. He said, I mean, a three-year-old's preschool tuition at a private school is what I paid for college tuition. Now, aside from figuring out if they will live together in Los Angeles full time, Kristen and Luke have been trying their hardest to have a baby. And thanks to a special house tour Kristen gave everyone, watchers learned more about the fertility moon that she keeps in her kitchen, hoping for good vibes. Kristen also received some backlash from her co-star, Jax Taylor, over wanting to conceive with Luke. Now that we're on this children conversation, I just want to make sure that you're ready for this situation, is what he said during episode one of The Valley. Are you mentally there to have a child right now? I just want you to do your research. He said that having a child is not like getting a dog. That's so funny coming from him. The Vanderpump Rules alum also shared her fears about having a child, saying, the only thing I second guess is my own body. I can't just get knocked up like any day of the week, and I feel like it might be, for her, she's saying, really difficult. Now, that's not the only thing. It actually continues, because back to Kristen Doty, she is accusing Jax Taylor of deflecting about his own life. Kristen Doty recently slammed Jax Taylor over the comments that he made about her during episode one of The Valley, and she opened up about wanting to have a baby with her boyfriend, Luke. They discussed moving, okay? And even Kristen's fears about caring, but Jax offered a bunch of unwarranted advice, telling Lala and Sheena he didn't believe Kristen was ready. During a chat with Us Weekly, Kristen said Jax's comments were a way to avoid dealing with his own problems. She said 
I felt like that was just Jax deflecting about his own life and not wanting to deal with all of the stuff that was going on with him. Which, to be fair, the best way to not talk about your own shit, the shit that is coming down when the roof is caving in on your own life, is to deflect and go into somebody else's life, which is exactly what he is doing in this moment. And she's saying it's because he wanted to deflect. I personally think it was because he was trying to put on a producer's cap and make sure that this show was going to be a success. And by doing so... By putting on that producer's cap, he was able to get a reaction out of Kristen by, you know, like inviting Luke to a guy's night and inviting Alex, Kristen's ex. Like he knows he can trigger Kristen. Kristen's an easy target for him. So I think, yeah, that it's just a given. Back to it. Jax loves to tell other people how to run their lives. So I don't necessarily think it was about my fertility or actually about my choices, about my body to get pregnant or for Luke and I to have a family. I think it was just Jax's way of deflecting, not having to deal with his own stuff. So it's no secret that Jax and his wife, Brittany, have been going through a rough patch in their relationship and the Bravo veterans opened up about living in separate homes before the premiere of their new show. During their podcast, When Reality Hits, Brittany said that she made the move to better care for her mental health and the well-being of her child, Cruz. But when she appeared on Andy Cohen's Watch What Happens Live, you guys know, she told the Bravo figurehead that a veil was lifted after she had a fight with Jax, prompting her to make some changes. She described the atmosphere with Jax as very toxic, and she revealed that they had a bigger blow-up once Bravo stopped filming. She said, whenever we were filming over the summer, we definitely had some blow-ups, but I feel like we got worse after the cameras went down. Mm. Brittany said that she'd rather us be able to be around each other than absolutely hate each other. So let's just hope we don't end up getting a divorce. Okay. I mean, I'm going to play a clip for you guys and let you hear some Brittany for yourself. Hold on. Let me make sure I take this down. Yeah. Thank you to Bywig. Hello, drama. She said, I don't see us getting back together anytime soon. And Bywig said, I love how she reveals that she doesn't see herself getting back with Jax and then giggles at the idea of him being mad at her for saying it. Brittany has come a long way. You don't. Mm -mm. Wow. <laughs> oh, no, he's going to kill me when he watches this. He is. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> yeah, you guys have really different vibes about the separation. Well, it's because I left. Oh, because you left. Yeah. So he's like, what? His ego? Mm -hmm. Like, what's going on? All of it. All of it. Yeah. But if you say tomorrow, I want to come back home. I just feel like things will go back to exactly how but they were. you happy about it? I think so. We yeah. don't really, like, some days, some days he's like, well, I'm happy. Like, you don't see me crying. Like, he'll say, like, mean <laughs> crap like that. And then other days he's, like, completely different. Wants me to move back to that. He wants me to move back in the house and live in the main bedroom and him live in the guest bedroom. I'm like, we are not pulling a Tom and Ariana. Oh, he really <laughs> wants a Tom and Ariana. Yeah, I'm like, that's not happening. Oh, my God. I'll just keep spending a shit ton of money on Airbnb. I don't see us getting back anytime soon. You don't. I mean, who okay. That's where we're at. Luke and Kristen. Actually, if you're watching this and you're watching The Valley, it looks like Luke and Kristen have a lot less to worry about than Jax and Brittany. So it kind of takes you back to the statement that Kristen made about Jax that this is total deflection based off of what he is experiencing in his own life as the pilot of his own life. Which I totally stole, by the way, from um, The Sweet Life. Of Zach and Cody. I think that's what the name was. What was that on Disney? Dylan and Cole Sprouse. Do you guys remember? Anyways, I want to hear what your guys' thoughts are. So pop off in the comment section. If you're not subscribed, get subscribed. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. And we'll see you next time. Love you guys.